411, 41450. So I've got to chop a chunk off the corner. So you see how that corner goes? Righto. So because of the way that the bar works, this is pushing crop flow through the machine. This side's flat. So this is the only place we can take it off, take it off the corner. And what I need to do is try and get it right. 416. 411. Was 450, it's now 416. So I just need to take a little tiny bit more off it. Four eleven, four fourteen. So it was four fifty. Have to cut the chunk off the corner. Yeah, okay. So at this yep. point, where where's the chunk there? See at the back corner, this oh, yeah. corner, yep. that one there. Yep. So we've right. cut that off. Yep. yep. Good. Don't cut this edge because the material flows past oh, this edge as we're working it. Yep. And if we cut a big piece like this one, because it was a big difference, we've cut um, almost forty grams off it. Um, put it at the back of the rotor. Back of the rotor. What are you up to there, Jeff? Uh, putting the uh, rust bars on the rider uh -huh. and spacing them evenly, so one one side of the rider, one the other side of the rider. What do those numbers mean that Robin's giving you? Uh, they're the weight of these. So this one's 389 and it's paired with the other one that's 389. Yeah. Why is it important for the bar for that um, two numbers? Um, basically, so you want the rider to be Spinning, you want it to be balanced. So, we'll stick it on this one. Just doing him up. And that's in line with that one, so I'll spin him around. That one over there, and we're back here, so we know we're on the opposite side. And then to check it that it's even, if it was off even, the rotor would roll backwards or forwards. So it's, this isn't rolling, so it's balanced. <laughs> 